Hello everyone. Now in the last video, we set up the, um, the router, the PFSense router, and this network host here, the laptop, so that it could get internet connectivity. But the thing is, we did all that manually. Okay, so today I'm going to set up a thing called DHCP. Now that's Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So if you look at the words, dynamic means it changes, you know, it's very dynamic. Uh, host, well this is a network host, remember, just a device that's on the network. Configuration, that's what it's going to do and protocol because it's a protocol so we're going to set up a DHCP server on PFSense okay so firstly we'll just recap what we put in manually in the uh, network settings here okay so for the wired settings we went to IPv4 we set a manual address we made it that gave it a netmask that gateway again I'll get into what these mean in the future and DNS was 1111 okay and you can see up here we have manual or automatic as an option. So given the manual setup there, we know our IP address by doing IP add. Okay, there's our IP address. If we want to see that gateway, just do IP route and we'll see that it's the default one up here. Okay, so that's our gateway. And there's a command called more which just shows you text of a file. And if you go to the directory uh, etc resolve.conf you can press tab and then press dot again conf there it is you can see there's the DNS server that's where it puts it okay so all those settings are there and of course we can ping into the outside world by name okay so now I'll do the pfSense setup so just alt tab because I've still got it open back here okay here it is we're going to go to uh, services and we're going to go to DHCP server so on the LAN interface, because obviously that's this is our LAN interface, the local area network, that's what we want to set it up on. So we'll enable it. And we have to pick a range of addresses. Now, it, it even helps you out, tells you what's available, and suggests from between 10 and 245. So I'll go along with that, because it seems reasonable. Now the options here are things that I want to give the um, the host when it when it asks for an address, okay? And one of the things I'm going to put in is a DNS server. I'm going to put that 1.1.1.1. So it, it'll tell clients to use that address for their DNS setting. Okay, so we'll go a bit further down. The gateway, most of this is going to be default because it'll just use the LAN interface as its gateway. And um, pretty much leave that as it is. Okay, so I'll just save that. Oh, there we go. Save successfully. So if I go back here now... Okay, I'll just clear that with Control L. That's a good way to clear. Or if you, another way is just type clear. Just clears the screen. Okay, if I go in, if I just have one last look at what we set manually, it was 192.168.0.1. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll go up to the network settings, and I'll turn that off. Go to my settings here, IPv4, and I'll clear all this. Okay, uh, just clear, clear that, clear that, clear everything, and just make it automatic anyway, and apply that. Now I'll turn that adapter back on, and it looks good up here, so let's have a check down here. I'll do IP address again, and there we go, we have an IP address, but you can see it was 192.168.0.1, it's now 192.168.0.10. And let's have a quick check if we can still ping Google and we can okay so again we might want to check that DNS uh, server went in as we expected so more slash etc slash resolve tab a bit so you've got two options so just press dot and tab or let it auto fill in and it got 1.1.1.1 again so now that makes it a lot easier when you put another network host into that router there. You don't have to set it all manually, it just does it automatically per your configuration that you, you set on PFSense of what you would like it to be. So in the next video, I'll add another host to this network and see how we can add more than one given that we've only got one port on this um, router here. So we'll see you soon in the next episode. So until then, take it easy.